ma me fara se ma pen dream tv pen dream tv de o se dem yopo mo me ntie om statement no Accra, Tuesday 24th, September 2024. It has come to our attention that a letter received today, 24th, September 2024, about our engagement with Trafigura is circulating in the media, creating the impression of the government's inactions, inaction on a yet-to-be-executed settlement agreement. As may have been noticed... The said letter reference ongoing engagement on pathway towards settling the claims. I'm say, I'm going say letter be a beton from him and go for the church. They say, eh, yeah, letter be a trafigura for no extra bread. Eh, yeah, I'm going to buy. Now, letter no much trouble, you know. Nini na a church, say, I'm going to say, eh, yeah, see, you know, eh, can I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Two, the Ministry of Finance wishes to state that we have made the necessary arrangements to pay off the outstanding claims agreed with Trafigura after several rounds of negotiations. We are therefore surprised at the circulation of this letter on social media. I almost say, oh, almost person catch a gun of you. I say, some go for you and I catch it. I will say, almost the almost solve problem. You know, problem. I must say, almost catch it. I must say, almost say, sir, a year as somewhere between and no credit. Na the Oma yene se, Omo ni eye traffic guru afono kura atina se. Amo ma discuss ya meetings bebre se 134 no mo betu ya. The Omo kani chile se sikaro. Omo nye ready se mo betu ya 134 no, it is in the pipeline na. Omo tutu nyoma se omo betu ya free ho. Point three, the government of Ghana remains committed to house, honoring sorry, to honoring its obligations under the settlement agreement with traffic guru with a view to bring this matter to closure. End. Now, when you read the statement from the finance ministry, the statement did not specifically say that they have paid some of the money. The statement did not tell us Ghanaians say the money is that we are owing Trafigura. No, we have paid 80%, 20%, 10%. All that the minister said was that yes, he they are surprised that the letter is out. We don't care. All that we want to know is 134 million through a year attorney general now born. Ah, you incur judgment debt. No, how are you going to pay the money? Adia chiano pa e we are kete kete ya na omu de jandama betwa bontine say I finance minister say and this is what they are saying. Finance minister says government raises. You see government a cope. You can say government raises as well before. Just a government, a court in the more room, so a business. So, we don't come on a pool. You see, raises. You and Chum, how that money was raised. My man, kind of, I'm going to give you a Government raises 43 million to partially settle its 134 million dollar judgment debt to the international energy firm, Trafigura, as the company moved to seize Ghanaian assets in South Africa. Remember, we have not got just excess power. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Charge. Sir, traffic guru for contract. I'm not going to work. Everything I hear in cure judgment debt of one thirty four million dollars. And come on, buy. No, come on. Traffic guru for the tenancy. And we have discussion. And can we come back? It is avoidable. This debt is avoidable. But attorney general, we were Jimmy T. Na eku fwa do mo omu ya family e di family and friends business ah omu mandani a family war with a company. No, we ended up incurring one hundred and thirty four million dollars. Now. And the the answer about it is say finance ministry is say how much it is your mobile room? I could have forty three million dollars be at the bank or take care of so money crew. Under these twerps, you don't have a country. These people are running the country like daycare. Like I'm not running crew to say daycare. Oh, traffic guru for you. The American one thirty four million. I how much you dying? A UK dying? No, I'm not supposed to South African. I could pay forty three million. I just say. I see a Jimmy. I just say it's war. Now you're going to take a crack. Now you The problem itself. Let me tell you. Do you know, say, the IMF conditionalities are you need to go with us. Say, ekoy, you know. Do you know, say, we have not fulfilled it. Huh? The things they keep telling us about, say, first quarter, second quarter, we have made surplus there. I don't know. The real issues we need to tackle to make sure, say, we 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 our books now are clean for our finances to get better. We have not tackled it all. They all say yeah, yeah. It raises revenue. Every time you walk, every time you see, you see IMF. You're too much personal. You're too much yeah, yo. 
the reality is that we have not actually even dealt with uh, the IMF conditionalities. We have not. We are not paying our, our debts externally. Some internally, we are not. The conditions IMF gave us to raise some certain of revenue, to be offsetting some number, we have not been able to do it. It's the problem. No, we have not tackled it all. We have not tackled the problem, Snanka Sano. These people every day keep talking nonsense and our surplus and our day. The conditions now say yeah, to me a meeting. No. We have not. When there's a change in government, if the NDC comes to power, they will have to sit with the IMF and let them understand that these people, upon all the nonsense, because you see, this IMF is you know, avoidable. If this government and your president in the Jimmy and the, 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 the vice president being a con man, they should have gone to IMF a long time. Sad time now, I'm wasting, you know, it compounded and my problems in the year. It's near the cut thousand, and the year five thousand. So we are not supposed to blame anybody. We are supposed to blame the stupid finance minister and our catch up and say, God is on our side. We will not go to IMF. We need to blame this foolish air vice president who said E-Levy is the way forward. It is going to cushion. It is going to bring more revenue. It is going to create more jobs. These are people who have brought us to this point. Instead of them to be open to you, I'm going to crunch a gun for now. You won't probably want to now. Quasi afford it radio so catch it. Say, John Mahama, yeah, propaganda. He's desperate to be president. Quasi afford and the one a bit to your way. That is the problem. It is the company, you know, it is their delayance. Because of pride, because of propaganda, because of the things they said about John Muhammad's administration, they could not go to IMF. They had to lie. And it kept compounding. Now, I feel, Nyoma, eh, yeah, worse. So it got to a point they could not do anything. All that they had to say is, we have to go to IMF. At the time when we detected a problem, no, ah, John Muhammad and NDC said, these people are supposed to go quickly. Because the more you wait, because of eh, the propaganda and trying to win eh, the people's vote doing politics with it we are going to get to a point where we are going to struggle john mahama may crossroads i catch a gun for say we are going to get haircut old pensioners are going to lose their money private businessmen are going to lose their money we as Ghanaians, majority of us are going to lose our money yet not gonna need the john mahama and this attempt i remember at the forcing did a sorrow a thorough breakdown of what is about to happen and this for catcher said we are all going to lose our monies now you don't see a man quasi afford a catch a gun for say. Oh, E Levy will bring eleven million jobs. Oh, E Levy will do this. We are not going to IMF. We are ch God, children of God. We are quasi afford doing quasi afford at the end of IMF. So we are struggling to meet the conditions. The problem these people they have, and they say they have exhausted all the avenues. Sir, you did raise the, uh, their revenue because you see they made a lot of noise about revenue generation. When they were in opposition, now Baumia to radio so every day. Oh, Mahama, they cannot create the revenue. Mahama is taxing this. Mahama is taxing this. You see, what they failed to do when they came to power. You see, when they came to power, they started realizing, say, governance is not about one policy. Governance is not what you see from outside. Now, when you become a government, the biggest problem is paying a year salaries. The biggest problem is the same time servicing your debts. The same time making sure you raise revenue. Nipa na oje tax no ro no onye djuma onkreti djuma ma no. Ebede when you sika through taxes to pay your debt domestic and international. So you get to that point you are stuck. That is why they started introducing different different kinds of taxes. Now they they introduce all these taxes thinking that they will be able to get some revenues piece piece forcefully making us no matter what pay those taxes now what happened was that omoji taxes you know their level of expenditure and consumption was becoming bigger time almost started say omoji taxes in kitchen kitchen every case in every horror they were supposed to close their ass how do they do that? They were supposed to cut down on the number of government appointees, the number of expenses. That was the same time a Kufuado was flying private jet $11,000 an hour or whatever euros an hour. That was the same time they were spending money. They were having parties. That was the same time they were spending money lavishly. That was the same time these people were blowing cash. In the Omoji taxes, no, a bape ne pie 
And then I, John Muhammad, catch him and this catch him say, if you want to save the situation, at the end of the day, make sure your lifestyle. What's the sour lifestyle, kakra? How do you change your lifestyle? You have to make sure if you are expending so much money on these things, cut down your expenditure. So when you cut down your expenditure, whatever small money that comes in, it can do something for you. These people, their expenditure and their appetite became bigger. In terms of tax now, they pay for your and who are the ones struggling? We the taxpayers. And in China, but we are say next month credit scoring is coming. I know sometimes it's not busy. I say more. I'm about to start in a brochure. No, you move to do any Jimmy Anna. Credit scoring, credit scoring. Yes, but we are credit scoring. Aba Ghana next month. More I'm about to brochure. Majority of you are money paper. Do you have credit scoring? You don't. Mo amoti US, mo amoti ti krom ha. I am papers enye juma. Do you file your taxes? No. Mo amoti krom ha. I am o papers amu enye juma. Do you file taxes? You struggle a lot. Mo amoti krom ha. How do you file your taxes? A simple thing. Credit scoring. Nini na nse? You have been able to at least at the end of the day make sure say. On the eka, ah, sa eka no. At the end of the day, no, your share was standing na. On to me, the infancy our wa. Enti so our credit in ya. I dear bet you our credit I say a overspending. I dear bet you our credit I say and say we need income, consistent income, because in the case of Kotoka, they will not ask you how much money is on your card. They will not ask you how much a uh, day uh, 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 millions a uh, go uh, uh, bag. They will ask you say a jumana wo yes a no come and show us your pay slip. So how does that pay slip the bar? Or make say they are going to use that to assess say you pay your taxes and your credits no a uh, hinder war. Are you somebody uh, you are in a position to pay for this car? Because car now of say auto in no our American no anybody can walk into a dealership and say I want a car. But what the dealership is looking out for and say, what is the probability? Say the car no mawa consistently you can pay it off. Can the officer tone? But he also doesn't want to give you the car. Unye juma. Inti kusa enda oba kachene say uwe juma nde. Inti oba sa auto car. The day oba lose uwe juma, you lose the car because it's all about what you make. Now, if you don't have a job. You cannot walk to a dealership and say, I want to buy a car. Even so was the bag man, that person will still have to do a check. A check, oh your bootleg, a bia a criminal job being away. But the people we call taxpayers, Americans who at the end of the day, their life, you know, is based on their credits, you know. You cannot just walk. So I can talk about so pay slip. Are you working? Are you being paid? How much are you being paid? Niashe. So what your taxes are? The amount of money that you spend on the government, you know, NHL or credit score, it shows the amount of money a wa who contribute. Into if at the end of the day you are not paying your taxes, at the end of the day you have bad credit. O kodi lo na untia ya debe maako ya be uso credit inye. At the end of the day wa koto ka bi untia o credit inye. It means you don't have the financial capability or know how or the financial with a strength to pay off any debt and it takes a obu a credit score nye it means say a car a buso a car buso a only consistent money coming in to offset those debts it is okay check out and you say i want to introduce credit score we are gonna need who are card so what at the end of the day dear never money credit score near papa only a juma only consistent income. What is the guarantee that Okono Koji TV, that TV, you know, he's going to pay? What's the security? It is all about making sure the people have work to do. Baumie Jimmy. Majority of the people don't work. You are introducing credit score. Then the original so because then the background and because Obia yeah credit score. The question is, how are you going to grade it? Ebi a juma bank, ebi nye juma kra. And the only juma bank in the kwa, yabe mano amanaji tivi no na the only juma ne. And how many people are employed in Ghana? The civil area, the the government area opening for for public servants is not more than eight hundred thousand people. We don't have more than eight hundred thousand people are buying no afo juma. So it means say majority of the people do not or are not employed. Majority of the people are not employed. 
So you hear things like, oh, so our ID address, so our Momo account, uh, 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 it's enough to get credit score. What kind of stupid analogy is that? Oh, our IP address, now our Momo account, uh, you can get credit score. What is credit score? It is the ability to be able to pay your debt and the ability to be paid or be able to prove that you have consistent income. That will prove your credit score. Your consistent income and your ability to pay of say a kaba. Now the person is not employed. Which ability is he going to get to pay off a debt? A chile nipano we jimmy. A chile sa politician or kasa o nimi nyansa. A chile wun sa we jimmy. And it's a mibu sama mutia blu chin se. Na mumu fresia, then a mokache munyanum. Mun can chops about umia kadro. You should be able to tell them that. You should be able to tell them that. Oba America. Oma omoko credit unions, no? Credit union and fa credit score mo. <laughs> How do you introduce credit score to a population that is not employed? Every country you go on this planet, omun our ID. Every country has an ID. When you go to India, they have an ID. When you go to Japan, they have an ID. When you come to America, we have an ID. When you go to uh, uh, Egypt, so what is so unique about you as a country having an ID? What's so unique about it? And in the first place, we had an ID before Ghana card. So what's so exceptional? So you just having an ID qualifies you to have credit. What, what, what's the basis for this? You just say anything because I'm just saying 1992, Nana, and Kwasia, radio, so no more defend it. In tomorrow, Mutia you know, how do you understand credit score? How do you understand that? Momo, you have Momo accounts. It means your credit, you can have credit score. What, what does it mean? Credit score built by itself. There's nothing like everybody qualifies. It builds by itself. It builds. And it's all about how, how you manage you yourself. So it is not, everybody's entitled to credit score. But the issue is, is everybody getting consistent income to be able to maintain a credit score? That is the question. Now, just want to American, you know, be able to Rose Rose in tree. Yeah, you will be able to to 2024, new Range Rover tree. But it is your score. It is your score. It is how, how you can, at the end of the day, manage that. Nipani Yejuma, tell the young people how you are going to create a job for them. Or say, Mini Anoma, Omo Kopono, Udi Sola, Betaratari, Omo Kanu, Inti Antu Abama, Wabodam. And then your priority. Now, Ojin say, Udim technology chain Japan. Oko, Oko fish in chain Americans. Oko fish in chain Scandinavian countries, no. They have not even attached solar to their boats. Now, Ghana, Nia, Ono, Yusu Kanu, no. Ono, Na Udi Sola, Kota, No, Wejimi. Ope, Ope, Solar chain Chinese, if Solar chain Japan for Uko po a chain Americans are more fishing. They have not been able to create any technology that can power a overpower at mode motors. Do you know what powers a boat? Sa motor na a use a yet sa diesel na a power a yet canoe. Do you know that the amount of energy it uses to power that? What what um what kind of solar enable to power a boat? Mumma Jimmy Jimiana in Tinanka.